Hello, A up. Now then, wherever you're from, I can cope for any nationality. I'm here to talk about these two cameras, and I've just realised I can't exactly remember what they're called. WX80, CX280. I, anyone who has been following my channel knows right, right at the very start, inspired by the master, Chris Perillo, um, I bought one of these. I had to have it sent over to me from America and essentially, well not essentially, it is exactly a, w a DSC WX80 Sony Cybershot camera. That's a cat. And what's attached to the front of this camera is a series of, well there's an adapter ring glued to the camera itself, which I can show you by taking this off. So there's an ad 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 do, do you know what? What I'm going to do is just um, tell you that this is the camera I've switched to and but to mention the fact that I have actually bought two of these cameras. I'll tell you about them in a minute before I go on about that camera. The reason I bought two of these is I bought them both on eBay. Brand new, these cost a couple of hundred quid for one. Um, I bought one for 125 and then another one which didn't have a power pack, didn't, didn't have anything really. All it had was a, a little rubbish tripod stand, a little three inch tripod stand and I bought that for 80 pounds. So I got the two cameras for still cheaper than one brand new one and they're both absolutely fine. I bought a power pack for this for £13 off, off Amazon. Uh, but the only thing I have spent some money on is I've bought a bigger battery because uh, as I'll explain in a minute, these batteries aren't going too long. Now, that's all, I'm gonna put one of these away because I'm actually gonna use one. All the close-up shots will be recorded using this camera here. So when it cuts away, you'll know I've cut to this camera and that's what this camera looks like. Okay, but okay, I lied a little bit. This is the camera I'm going to record on, which has the smaller battery. I should have popped this one in there. I just don't think. Just did that because it was on a, a little magic arm. So this is the camera I have bought. Uh, as you can see there, I'm going to show it to the close-up camera here. I'll, I'll be doing this a lot. Um, and I will come back to it uh, shortly. But let me first talk about this camera. So this is the Cybershot. As I said, it's a WX80. And this is the camera I've been vlogging with. But I want to tell you and share with you the problems and what I've not been happy with about this camera. It is a cracking camera. A really good camera. I've, I've liked it intensely. Um, it's so small and the quality of the picture that comes out of it is, is just phenomenal. When you consider um, just the size of it compared to like the, you know, the, the, the better consumer cameras out there, the quality of picture coming out of this is superb. It will record um, uh, MP4 file direct and also it records stereo in case you're wanting to know. I can hear a police car outside or, or someone's dying or something. Um, so record stereo, it, it's, it's, it's got Apparently, it's got some sort of capability of of being of steadying the shot, which is something I desperately need, but I, I haven't seen it. The problem I've had with mine is this bit here has broken through attaching um, uh, attaching it to various tripods. And the other thing that I just definitely I think is absolute absolutely don't touch. You know, th th this is the deciding factor for me when it comes to deciding whether I can use a piece of hardware or or, or a camera is. Is it durable? Is it going to stand the test of time? And the problem with this one is, if, like me, you like to put things on tripods, you like to put them on like selfie sticks or whatever, or little monopods or whatever, um, you need to make sure that the, the hole, the metal of the tripod goes into, you need to make sure that that is metal going into metal. And preferably that that metal uh, threaded um, cavity is is embedded into something else metal. These are all or, or some or at least a very durable material, certainly more durable than um you know basic plastic which this is so i've been putting uh sticks into here and it slowly started wobbling it's not become safe and eventually this is broken off and i'm not sure why but that's kind of gone. I've tried gluing it down, but it's just popped out again. So I've not been happy with that at all. The the other thing I've not really been happy with is 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 the battery life on this is 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 not great, and you can buy other batteries for it, but it's a very specific battery that you, that you need to buy, um, and it's just not um, they're quite expensive, I think. I can't remember, I did buy two, but I've already lost one, and it does take a memory stick there. In fact, I think it probably takes two types of memory stick. Uh, just checking. Yeah, it looks like it takes the other Sony memory stick. 
it's yours as well. So then you've got these, uh, you've got these uh, um, to put on there. There's like one, two, three, four. So there's five sections to this, um, you know, and it, and it attaches on here. Now, as, as anyone knows, glass lenses are heavy. This thing is now a bit of a beast. I think you'll agree. I mean, it's it's a big chunky monster it does feel right it feels uh, like it, it's it's heavy though as i said but you know it kind of it's kind of well hidden so if you're embarrassed about vlogging as a lot of people are initially for, for sure uh is you know it's kind of it's, it's kind of hidden by your hand quite well and it's like just like you're talking to your hand but um it is after a while hard to hold that up it's it's a good weight uh, to hold up because of the heavy glass that's in it. It's like about the about the weight of a mug of coffee, I would say. Talking of which, um, if you're anything like me, coffee makes your hands shake. You've probably seen that. I'm not as bad as that, but uh, it can get quite bad sometimes for me and my shaking. Um, and that you'll see that in the close-up. So when that happens, um, you need a camera that's a got that can compensate for that pretty well. Now this does have steady shot on it, optical steady shot. But I've I've kind of just had huge problems in in making that help uh, my stuff always looks kind of shaky and it looks like I haven't got the steady shot uh, operating but the the menu says I have so um, I don't know I've not been too happy with that steadiness of that the other thing is I didn't mention earlier there's two holes at the bottom here I can't give you the close-up I'm afraid but there is the tripod shot there and there is the HDMI slot there um, did I say shot? The tripod shot. It's not shot. The tripod hole uh, is there, which I, which I don't like because it's plastic and it's already started to thread a little bit and it's not very deep. Uh, and next to that is the HDMI out. Now they're both so close together, you can't have both those um, orifices, if you like, filled at the same time. You, so you can't put this on the tripod and have the HDMI out. So that's kind of not very good. That's kind of bad design in my eyes. So enter, um, put, leave this here. Sorry about the cat, by the way. You're, you're just like watching, don't you? Yes, you do. Okay. Okay, so enter this little camera here. Now, I just wanted, I've used these type of cameras before, these little uh, handy cams, uh, they're called. Um, and I did a little bit of research into this and I found people who have been using this for, for vlogging or, or even streaming. And it is the most basic model of the Sony range that, that I think there is. Um, there's no on off switch. Uh, there's no microphone in switch on it. All it is, is uh, out pops the windscreen, the windscreen, out pops the screen, uh, which is twistable, and, you, and there you go, and you can sort of see, see your picture. You have a very simple, um, if I turn around this way, you have a very simple sort of joystick control here, which will take you through the menu, and you have sort of basic settings in there that you can do. But you, you, you've got white balance, exposure, focus, which, and, um, and, and that's really all you need. I tend to always make sure uh, the exposure is on manual, um, especially for something like this. Um, but the, the, the focus, I've kind of got that on auto. Um, on this camera that's recording this camera, this, ca this camera here, uh, that, that focus is actually set to half a meter, which is probably not quite right, but it looks okay to me on the screen here. So um, this, I just find, is a, a great camera. I'll tell you why. Um, it doesn't have a microphone in. But I don't want to be having microphone lens in these cameras. I want a camera that's just a vlogging camera or it's just a quite a fancy um, uh, a streaming camera. Um, the only way you'd get this to be a streaming camera, I think, is if you have a capture card because it's, it's got a HDMI out. Let me just take you through what this camera does, okay? It's got a, an open close here for this. So you can open and close that there. That's just a switch there. So that covers the lens when you don't need it. You've got your zoom in and out. It's just standard. And you've got that button there if you want to take some pictures, which I, I very rarely ever do. Um, it's got a, a release button there for the for the battery to be released. Uh, the battery I'm using here, this is a... You can pause, pause the video if you want to read what that says, but that's a Sony NPFV70 battery. Um, in here is the uh, SD card, which I'll just... Because uh, it is switched off, I will take the card out. And I have, oh, come on, I've put a Sony Stick Pro um, HG Duo 32 gig stick. Now I just bought that for about £30. So uh, it's adding up, isn't it, how much I've actually spent on this camera. And I've just realised that it will actually take the standard uh, SD cards as well. This, this slot in here will actually take SD cards and these Sony sticks, which I wish I'd known because they've got loads of SD cards. Uh, but I just worked it out because the, the other camera, because I've bought two of these cameras, the other one that I bought off uh, eBay, when it arrived it had an SD card in it already. How does that go back in there? I've got to be careful here it goes in the right slot don't want to break it 
Okay, so that's the memory card back in there. That's the battery I've talked about. And the minute I've got this little, um, uh, let me take that off so you can see, well, you don't really want to see, you know what it is, but this is uh, for my, uh, I don't know what they're called, but I guess my spider tripod, The you know, the one that grips everything. It's, it's wrapped around my webcam at the minute. So it's got, look, steel, steel or metal or aluminium or just not plastic which is what you had with this it's not plastic it's proper it's pucker it's good it's a good thing and this is super cool here um, in the strap as you've probably just seen in the strap is the USB wire and that just that's a hard wire it's wired hard to the camera and I love it you, you might look at that and go that's a bit weird but it's not because when I finish vlogging with this I plug this out I plug it into an extension cable plugged into my computer it pops up as a drive in my PC, absolutely no problem at all. It just, it's a simple matter of drag and dropping it. First thing I do is plug it in, drag and drop the files onto a, a folder on my desktop and then I import from my desktop. I don't ever import and edit while this is connected. Then I unplug this, get it charging, get it going for the next day. I had much more of a difficult time using it on a Mac. I have to tell you that, uh, and I'm not quite sure why that is. I guess it's to do with the formatting of the disc, but um, there was a way around that, which I will try and remember before the end of this video. Uh, so that plugs into there. And of course you can uh, adjust the size of the strap if you've got really thin hands like I have. And you obviously just keep that nice and tight. There you go. Uh, you've seen the monitor that we have here, which will rotate that way, or it will rotate that way it autom um it automatic or it'll fold back on itself uh, the pic the picture automatically flips depending on where you're looking at it in here you have um you got a speaker uh these are just screws and you have a, H a small hdmi out which should come with the camera when you buy it and then it's got the switch there for the battery again uh, in case you're wondering um the only controls you have on, on on the on the screen itself is let me just turn it so you can see it is a little joystick control there and there's a little play button which is a little bit annoying because as soon as you press me uh, so, as soon as you, you, you move it, you've got a play button down there. So uh, weird that they have two play buttons. I'd much rather that button did something else like maybe a uh, focus check or maybe a white balance check instead. That would have been much more useful. But it doesn't do that. Um, we can't have everything. I've been using this camera for quite a while now. Uh, well, for at least a week. Um, and I've been vlogging with it. So if you look at my vlogging channel, you will find, uh, you will see the results of what it looks like uh, to, to vlog with this. I do think it's, it's better than this camera uh, in that, although it doesn't have quite as wide an angle in fact it doesn't have a, uh, that wide an angle although the angle is pretty wide you can zoom in on things which you can't do on this with these lenses on uh, which is actually really nifty for getting GVs and whatnot um, but uh, better than that is this doesn't handle low light very well as uh, although the wide angle lens would make you think it does this can film in a blackened room and still make it look like there's a light in there it's astonishing I don't know how they do it but it really is very good it's got a, an, an option in the menu uh, uh, where you can enable, I think it's called Lux, let's have a look what it doesn't say. Uh, it's called Low Lux, it's called, and you can switch that on. I'm just going to switch it off because you don't want it on when you're not using it. Um, and, and that is a really, really cool facility because I don't know about you, but I live in London, so it's quite dark and gloomy here in winter, especially. And it's good to be able to see my beautiful face when uh, when we're not, um, uh, you know, when, when I'm trying to vlog it, at least. There's nothing worse than it all going dark and all looking super grainy. So um, these, these are my thoughts about to get this camera over this camera for vlogging. Um, this, for me, too heavy, uh, too fragile, um, doesn't do the stability that, that I need, uh, and it's just too much of a costly package. This is uh, cheaper if you fish around for it second hand, lasts longer, more easier workflow when it comes to editing your stuff. Um, it does wrap everything up into an AVCHD file, but you, it, it honestly isn't a problem if you use an excellent editing tool like Premiere Pro as I do. So there you go, what do you think of that? You happy? You happy with that? Okay, so from me and Yumi, I hope you enjoyed my little video looking at these two cameras and me showing off my new cameras. Um, I will try and do some demo footage of you so you can compare the two. In fact, I'm going to do that right now and stop talking so you can see exactly what they look like. Bang! And I'm on this camera. Well, this camera is, is this one. Uh, but that's my second camera, so this is the picture quality. You see there's a lot of redness around my face, so what I'm going to do is do a little bit of correction on this camera to get the picture quality absolutely bang on right. So here's, here's the recording coming out of this camera, 
Um, I am holding it and I'm, it's quite so heavy that it makes my hand shake. Um, but hopefully you can see, um, kind of, I can see the, this, this camera is um, in, in the camera behind so I can sort of see the framing's okay. So this gives you a kind of idea, obviously the, 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 this is, look how close this is to my face. Um, and I know how much more, how much shot you actually get. That's great. If that's what you want, fantastic. If you want big wide shots of yourself vlogging, then go for it. Fill your boots, buy this camera, and uh, go to the gym to work, you know, to get some weights in. You can see it's got a little bit of stabilization there, but honestly, it's just not enough for me. It's too, 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 too wobbly by far. Um, I don't know. Uh, what do you think? You tell me. Do you, are you happy uh, with with the quality of of the little Sony CyberShot? Uh, maybe you are. I mean, it's a good quality camera. It's a great camera. Just the problem I have with it is that it's a little bit too heavy, and it's just got a, it, it's just not robust. It's it's going to break, um, and you know they do break. You see vloggers talking about these things breaking all the time. I mean, all cameras will break, right? But. Um, I don't know. This is just too heavy for me. It is a heavy little burden and I, I just don't like having it with me. Whereas this one here is, you will not believe how light the little, uh, the little whatever it's called, Sony is. It is super light. It's like a feather. You don't even notice it. It's that light. It's a fantastic camera. Uh, I've got to go try and edit all these three sources together now, which is not going to be easy. Uh, but, you know, we, 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 we do what we can because we're in the business of entertaining and informing. I hope you found all that uh, kind of interesting and useful. Um, I know that uh, I've been looking for getting the right vlogging camera and it's, it's, it's a hard job to do. I found it. I'm pretty sure I found it. It's to do with lightness and, and just getting the job done and the, the super steady steadying capabilities of this I just love um, and yeah that's it thanks very much for watching hope you found that useful if you want to subscribe do that helps me out a whole lot uh, YouTube recognizes people who have more subscribers so that really helped me in my rankings um, otherwise you can get hold of me on Twitter I'm at Fluctibus Flood and I'm quite active and chatty there so uh, be good to talk let me put something down in the comments if you've got any questions or if you've got any complaints always happy to address your complaints thanks for watching and goodbye.